with this supposed sinkhole that took place in the Corvette Museum. Understand that those behind the scenes, the Freemasons, and even those that are in charge of the Corvette Museum, they're all Freemasons. And I'm going to show that connection. Before I do so, I want to show this clip I, I saw on ABC News from a couple of years back. With these two newscasters basically mocking the viewers. And understand, all these newscasters, they read off teleprompters, so they're not going... You know, off on their own saying this. Again, this is all about mockery. Take a listen. It's just crazy oh. looking at these sinkholes. I just Man. can't get over them. By the way, six of the cars were owned by the museum. Two were on loan from General Motors. And the museum, of course, has insurance covering the cars and the building. But man, that still look, hurts. Look at that shot. Now, before it goes on here, I mentioned how these cars are nothing more than toys. Basically, what's happening here is just a movie got a combination of real cars and toy cars. This is nothing more than a production. Just like 9-11, they, they mix real with fake. People can't tell the difference. It almost looks, you look at them and they almost look like, like toy models and they're making one of those like kids yes. action movies like where... kids playing with his cars and... Can't see that this is just a matchbox hot wheel car and you don't know a real car from a toy one. Completely ridiculous. And all these people that love Corvettes, you must have not seen one in person. You cannot tell this is just a toy car, a little die-cast car. Give me a break. In the dirt. Exactly. Yes. They don't even look like real cars. They They're look not. like a stop-action movie. Isn't that's, that crazy? That's just painful. And of all places, the sinkhole opens in the middle of the building. The it, could, it couldn't be in the parking lot right. where there are some crummy right. cars And it's parked. all caught on tape, too. Crazy stuff. It is. And it's all caught on tape, too. Crazy stuff. This is where they're mocking. Talking about, oh, how it you know, just so happened to happen under the museum. You know, and didn't happen in the parking lot. These people know. They're in the know. Of course they are. This is all they give us is fake, fabricated news stories by those that control, you know, all of TV. Not just the news. All of TV from behind the scenes. Again. Look at this car. Corvette's completely mangled. Let's look at all the other ones as well. Let's compare. This thing has been chewed up and spit out. This one has major damage. Like I said in my previous videos, these are more than likely cars that were damaged previously and used as part of this PSYOP, this hoax, which is nothing more than a ritual. Now let's take a look at this image here. This is complete Photoshop. Take a look at the car itself. It looks like it's hovering onto nothing. Complete Photoshop. Anybody that knows anything about Photoshop can see this is fakery. Just take a look at all this dirt here. It looks like it's just you know, basically pasted in. Nothing about this is real. You can convince yourself of that, and that's fine, but it's not. Now, again, talking about all the damaged cars here, completely mangled. Then you look at the Blue Devil during recovery. You're going to get this. And you're going to believe this is legit. Besides a tiny bit of dirt under this one wheel, this car is pristine, just like it rolled out of the factory. Take a look at more images here. Give me a break. Complete joke. All those other cars can be mangled. This Blue Devil, and that's what I want to get into in a little bit here, the Blue Devil was raised out of the pit. It's all symbolic. This was a Freemason ritual that took place. Freemasons, for those that don't know, it's basically Satanism in disguise. This is really telling. And all these employees, they're all in on it. Of course, all indoors. Not for the public to see when this was all taking place. And I do understand that the public was allowed to go in and see this. But of course, after the fact, they can dig a pit. So again, they make fake with real and people can't tell the difference. Just another image of the Blue Devil right after it was raised out of the pit supposedly here. Let's take a look. I want to explain what's taking place here. Again, this is nothing more than a Freemasonic ritual. Freemasonry is nothing more than Satanism in disguise. That's what took place here. It's symbolic again. The Blue Devil being raised out of the pit which represents the pit of hell. These are psychopaths behind the scenes. Let's just take a look here. Interesting enough, with this one particular news article, and this just so happened to be released shortly after the supposed incident with the sinkhole. 
Dates here. National Corvette Museum names three new members to the board of directors. And one is named Glenn Johnson. He lists his credentials, and one is he is a member of a Masonic Lodge, number 1163. Give me a break. I'll just take a look at this Google map here. Bowling Green, Kentucky. Understand this is not the exact same Masonic Lodge. Interesting enough, Masonic Lodge is only eight miles away from the National Corvette Museum. Just a coincidence, I'm sure. Just a close-up look of this Masonic Lodge in Bowling Green, Kentucky. All the signs and symbols. Plaque here, and here's the front entrance, the Blue Lodge. 